Dr. Edith Mitchell from our Medical Advisory Board explains. So there are a number of um, side effects of treatments. There is no medication that can be given to a patient with absolutely zero risk of side effects. One of the side effects of treatment of colon and rectal cancer involves the treatment with inhibitors of epidermal growth factor receptor. Certainly, ep epidermal growth factor receptor is um, located on cancer cells, but epidermal growth factor receptors are also present in normal tissues. And the skin has the highest number of receptors of any normal organ in the body. Consequently, the epidermal growth factor receptor inhibitors can cause uh, significant side effects to the skin. Dermatologist Dr. Dennis Porto explains. The skin rash um, that patients experience with EGFR inhibitors um, can, be, can look like a variety of different things. The most common is what dermatologists call a papular pustular eruption. Up to 90% of patients will experience a papular pustular eruption, which is uh, a rash that's very similar appearing to acne. Um, it's most often on the face, but it can also, also happen on the chest. Um, it can be very itchy, it can be burning, stinging kind of sensation. It can be very bothersome to patients. Um, and every now and then we'll see patients who want to stop their, their cancer treatment because of this rash. And that's really unfortunate because this is something that dermatologists can definitely treat. Patients on an EGFR inhibitor may also notice dryness of the skin, brittle nails, brittle hair, sores, stinging in their mouths, or sensitivity to the sunlight. Before starting therapy, ask the doctor, what can I do to prevent the rash? Uh, it is not just uh, okay to say treat the rash once it occurs, uh, but what can be done to prevent the rash? I think it's a good idea um, for a, a patient to see a dermatologist right away, even before they start um, treatment with an EGFR inhibitor. That way they're just on a, you know, a first name basis with a dermatologist. They make sure that it's a dermatologist that they're comfortable with, um, that is um, familiar with uh, EGFR inhibitors, because not all dermatologists are. Hi, I'm Robin, and even after a full year of chemotherapy, I still get the chemo rash. Um, this is round 26, and you can see it kind of here on my face. I've got a beauty mark chemo rash that's kind of working for me right now, um, but I've seen it even on my little baby toe. To help with the itching, I put a thick face moisturizer all over my body. I kind of switch up products um, to keep my body guessing, but when I'm feeling really vain, I um, like to ask my doctor for an antibiotic and that clears it up for a little while. Working with your dermatologist, we will be able to get your skin looking better. It's really normal to be self-conscious about your skin, especially uh, when you have all these other things going on in your life. And you know, skin is oftentimes the first thing that people see when you're out at the, at the grocery store or when you're trying to go out with friends. Um, that's why it's really important that you work with the dermatologist and that you are really compliant with the treatment that we recommend in order to get your skin looking as best as we can. For patients on an EGFR inhibitor, do not use soaps and detergents with fragrance or a strong scent. Do not use any products on skin with rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide in them. Do not treat the rash yourself. Many products can make the rash worse. Do not stop taking your medication without your doctor's approval. Drink lots of water. Wear hypoallergenic and non-commutogenic makeup. Take cool or lukewarm showers and baths. Use alcohol-free, thick moisturizing cream twice a day. Stay out of the sun or wear a hat and long sleeve shirt. Always wear sunscreen, at least SPF 30. Ask your doctor before using any over-the-counter products, including anti-itch creams. Talk to your doctor about medications or topical ointments that might help prevent skin rash before you start treatment. Always tell your doctor if you notice any skin changes. So if there is any side effect, whether it's related to the skin or some other area, make sure you talk with your doctor and your provider staff about it so that they can institute the right treatment at the right time 